On today's show, my friend Sean Mark Nipper is in the house to talk about his experience with these fancy schmancy Vedra lenses. Or is it Vidra? Oh, that's a good question. Good morning and welcome to Photo Joseph's Photo Moment, the first live three times a week show here at youtube.com slash photo joseph talking about all things photography, video, live streaming, and occasionally bringing on special guests who hold <laughs> HDMI cables in compromising ways. Uh, Sean, welcome. Hey, it's good, good to, to see you, man. Absolutely. Always good to have you yeah. here on the show. Yeah, this is going to be fun. Uh, our, Ryan is out sick today, by the way, so if things just completely go to heck, it's because he's not here and I blame him. Right. Uh, so, Sean just came off of a shoot for a film. Right. Which he cannot show us footage from, unfortunately. Unfortunately, sorry about that. The way it goes. Um, but he was shooting with the Vedra lenses throughout. Mm -hmm. And these are a rental kit. Yeah, we um, got them from Lens Rentals. There you got, go. Got a great deal. Let's, was... uh, let's talk about, we're gonna talk about your experience with them, yeah. what these actually are that we're looking at, talk mm -hmm. about the lenses themselves. Sure. Um, but let's start with the cost, because these are not, these, these are not cheap, no. um, which is why you rented them. So right. what did it cost to rent this four lens lineup? So we have them, we had them from uh, two and a half weeks, basically, okay. and it was about 630 bucks with insurance, which is okay. not bad. And no, that was actually right. cheaper than Borrow Lenses. Borrow Lenses, I think, was about 1200 bucks uh, for oh, that wow. amount of time. So It's a big difference. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you got it from Borrow... From, uh, lens Rentals. You got it from Lens Rentals. Mm -hmm, okay, mm -hmm. so what do we have here? We'll so, take us through the lineup. Uh, the kit that I got is the... Well, I got the 12, 16... It's a 12, what, what's the T on this? Uh, T2. Uh, 2.2. 2. 2. 2. 2. 2. 2. Yeah, okay. uh, so 12, 16, 50, uh, 25... 35 and 100, which is like unscathed. Yeah. Well, the 50, I mean. Oh, oh, you're okay. And that was that was really interesting because we're like, hey, you're going to put the, the 12 on there? Oh, I thought you had the 24. Well, oh, it is. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so let, let's go through. What, it, what does it say on the box? So this is the 12. Right. That's a 16. 16. 25. 25. 35. So 50 mil equivalent. Uh -huh. 35, so 70 equivalent. And then the 50. 50, so 100 equivalent. Yeah. What's remarkable is how they're all the same size. And why yeah. is that? There's there's a good reason for this. Yeah, well, you, when you want to swap another lens on there and you have your follow focus and you don't want to have to keep undoing the follow focus and put it back on, uh, right. the treads are all in the same spot. Treads are in the same spot. The lenses are exactly the same size. Yeah, yep. that does make that process definitely easier. Yep. Okay, so. Which this one. I wonder if, yeah, I think it was this one. The the 16 was not, as you can tell. It was ever so slightly different. That ever so slightly. Convenient. Yeah, so I think they did that on purpose just to annoy you. Yeah, probably. So, okay, why why these lenses? What makes these lenses special over just using any standard uh, you know, Panasonic lens or a Leica lens or any other third right. party? What, so, what's unique? Right, uh, so I shot a short film with the, I just used this guy, the 12 to 60. So the, well, I brought this up here for a size comparison. So you can see they right. are relatively the same size lenses, right. 12 to um, 60. Trying to pull focus on something, my AC at the time, he was not used to, if you go fast, you go shooting right by it. If you go slow, it takes you forever to get there. So right, because it's he's the drive used by to, wire. You know, he grabs his tape measure and goes, Whoosh. okay, six and a half feet, goes boop, and then he marks it, and then he doesn't even have to look at the monitor. He just goes, whoop, here you are. Okay. So the measurement and the speed, it's the same. It takes right. the same amount of distance to get to the focus. So totally way mechanical. easier for an AC. Right. Where this is like, you know, it's hard to. Yeah, yeah. well, the drive by that. wire lenses certainly do have a little bit of a, um, a strange effect that way. If you're not used to it, it can be a little bit disconcerting because as you go a little bit faster with the ring, it mm -hmm. moves faster. You go slower, it moves slower, right. which can be great, but also can be a little bit inconvenient. Right, right. And I also like having the aperture on the side too, so I can just reach up and change that, you know, quickly instead of having to go into a menu or, you know, okay. I don't have my camera set up like you do. You got everything that's like dialed. Unless I loan it to you and then I get it back and everything's changed. <laughs> I don't know how that happens. I so strange. <laughs> I gotta work on that. <laughs> every time. I'm like, oh, get out my camera. Put your, what, why do you think I bring you a bottle of whiskey every time? Oh, that's the one time. that I gave Sean. Yeah, that's, why. that's why. Here's a bottle of whiskey. Sorry I messed up your camera. So, exactly. Well, and I do like your rental payment. Indeed, right? Uh, so what, uh, oh, just opinion. Shooting with these versus other lenses you shot with. Just what do you think overall? You know, so I've worked with the with the Zeiss lenses. You know, we had to take out a big old insurance policy to get those on set. Um, oh, really? It was about 25 grand to... You know, for that kit, seriously, to to buy. Look at this. Um, wow. And so, anything to rent was, you know, I think like twenty two hundred bucks for you know, uh, a week, something like that. I could be wrong, but just that, you know, the Zeiss is amazing glass. This is fantastic glass as well. Did it way overperform over this? Maybe. Maybe. Right. Do I pose? No, just just keep working. Just keep talking. Just okay. keep doing your thing. Um, 
there there was some shots that uh, that I got that I was really really happy with, and okay. I just I looked in it and I'm like, God, this is this is absolutely beautiful. Um, so, I, I you know, would I buy them? I don't know. Probably they're pretty inexpensive. I think they're better than the Rockinons. I like them better than okay. the what is it the Yucatans or the what's the other one the Rockinon and that's another. I'm not sure. Yeah, I can't remember. Uh, Definitely not Yucatans. No, it's that's, 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 that's a place. Yucatan. But that's okay. You know, I we'll go with it. Hey, I put a Yucatan on my. Uh, um, <laughs> that you know, I I'm pretty happy with them. And they're about a, about nine hundred bucks each. If you're buying them. Yeah. And you can, I know they come sold as kits, right? Right, yeah. So actually, here, let's let's take a quick look at that. I do have them pulled up. Um, ironically, there weren't, maybe I'm doing something wrong, but I couldn't find them on B&H page. But we'll take a quick look at them over here on uh, on Amazon because they are listed there. Um, incidentally, for those of you watching live, we are going to do a Q&A at the end of the show. As always, for those of you not watching live, the Q&A is not listed separately here at YouTube any longer. There's reasons for this. Uh, it's a, Anyway, just get to the end of this video, the Q&A will be there, but we are going to do it. So for those of you watching live, get ready for that Q&A. Cool. Um, you got us both here, so that's going to be kind right. of fun. Uh, so here's here's the page on uh, on Amazon. You can see this is just the Vedra page, and so like here's the well, it's a peel. It's what is this? Uh, here's a 16 millimeter for 900 bucks. Yeah, so it's you know, I mean they're they're not cheap, but they're not ridiculous. Here's the whole kit, four lens kit, uh, for 3700. So <laughs> it's not bad. You know, yeah, it really isn't. And that might be used. That's probably a used one from the look of it. Uh, but they are filmmaker lenses. If yeah. you're doing professional filmmaking, that's kind of the kind of the idea. Yeah, they got good weight to them. Um, I will say that the the connection sometimes, you know, when we're trying to oh, pull focus, we would notice that there's a little breathing. Oh, that's interesting, huh? And so, and I don't, I'm not sure if that was with all the lenses. I mean, having an AC was awesome. You know, Rocky Garrado's local AC is probably okay. the best guy. I wanted him because he is the best AC around. I learned so much from him just like watching him work and and uh, well, in the last movie that I was AC on, where I didn't get to touch the camera, <laughs> so I learned a lot. Yeah, okay. that's so, interesting. There's that yeah, play. just a huh. tad play. So huh. it depends on how fast you're trying to get to that focus. That would that would come into right, right, sure. Play. <laughs> <laughs> um, but other than that, I'm, I'm super happy with him. Okay. And just the measurement, he was uh, AC with Rocky was like, man, it's like. Pretty solid. To, you know, that's, when he yeah, go. that's really interesting that you would do that. I mean, you see that in, in kind of old films. That's cool. Mm -hmm. what they do. They get out the yeah. tape measure and pull it. But right. even on a on a modern shoot, that's still something they're doing. They're not yeah. just looking through the viewfinder and yeah. focusing. Absolutely. Using focus making. Yeah, and this goes down to you know. Yeah, what is the closest? Ten inches. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. So here, let's get a close up. Let's get some of these out of the way. People can see what we're talking about here. The the numbers that are on here. Well, I guess it's this side is the mm -hmm. there's the line there. Um, yeah. So it's quite interesting to see that on there. If you're going to mark it, you go, we're going to go from eight and a half inches to whatever. And it's uh, one point. That's good. It is very smooth. It is definitely very smooth to move. I like it. I yeah. like it. I like it. Yeah. And there's no, doesn't seem to be much play in, in the actual. I Focus, would, yeah. I would say it would be nice to have the, the aperture settings on both sides. Because sometimes depending on where we're at, we would put oh, the follow focus on the other side, which is fine because the measurements, you know, could be, you know, uh, messed with from, I just oh, because the, fo the focus measurements are on both sides. Yeah. Oh, okay, here, let's look at that guy. This is really interesting. So, okay, look at the, let's get this into view here. Um, you can see the measurements. So there's my line, there's my focus line. So you see it says that's six and a half feet. Let's go, let's go to four feet, make it easy. So there's four feet. And the other side, it's showing it upside down. If I flip it around, then there we see the four foot and the mark. But the T-stops, the aperture, or not, that's only listed on that side. You go over here and it is gone. That's yeah. a very interesting point, huh? Yeah, and it would, it would come into uh, play when uh, the scripty would say, hey, what's your f-stop? And I'm like, uh, let me see, because, you know, depending on where you're at, it's like, I can't get yeah. around there. I'm back here now, you know? Yeah. So um, it would have been nice if her could just look up there and see it. And then yeah, for sure. That's an interesting point. Wonder all the time. Do. So, but I, I would use these again. What do, you, what do you think on sharpness? Nice. Real nice, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There, was a, there was an argument that I got into, uh, and I learned how to pick my battles quickly with this director, <laughs> um, that I wanted the I wanted the 35, 70 equivalent okay. for this shot that we've got. Uh, we framed real tight uh, on the one subject, and she's supposed to be staring off into space. And then I wanted, stylistically, I wanted the people in the background to just stay soft. And okay. then we could cut to them. But he wanted, he wanted to rack focus. I'm like, okay, because you can. Right. Um, I didn't agree with that style, and I lost that battle. <laughs> and so we put on the the 50, and we were able to do that. I really liked how the 70 just filled the screen with her face, nice and tight, and then everything was super soft in the background. Mm. And I thought that that was, you know, better storytelling in my right. opinion. Um, I didn't win, <laughs> but uh, I did win some other battles, so uh, that was good. Okay. And uh, and 
I used the Ronin uh, S, which we haven't played with here yet, but I didn't do it. Let's trade places because I'm, I'm trying oh, okay. to reach this cable and it's all right. not one of Ooh, oh, this is cool. Cool, look in the pull position. On this side. <laughs> I've got all the buttons. Okay, um, hit hit the uh, hit the button, the bottom left corner, the one that says decimator on it. Decimator. That. Decimator, there you What's go. What's that gonna do? It's gonna decimate things. There you go, so people can Ooh. see. So this is wide open at 2.2. So it's, we're not talking super shallow depth of field here. And we have 2.2 is not a super, super... Um, and what's that? That's the 12? That's, that's the, the 30, the 16, that's the 16 so 35, 37 equivalent, um, 34, 30, 30, 32. All right, you're right. Equivalent. Um, <laughs> yeah, so F2.2 is not super, super shallow depth of field, mm -hmm. for sure. Um, especially on Micro Four Thirds, obviously. So, yeah. but I mean, cinema lenses, you don't generally want it to be crazy shallow because if right. they move, someone like moves a little bit, they yeah. focus. And we went with the uh, N6 ND filter when we were outside okay. on that. I didn't have a variable that was a 77 millimeter, mm -hmm. but um, I did also have the polarizer and that was for my old Canon. I'm like, oh my God, I have, I have a 77 millimeter polarizer. So we had that luckily because we we're doing a lot of car stuff and so okay. we could cut through the windows. Oh, okay, um, cool, right. So, but yeah, yeah, we and actually- Were you shooting with the GH5, the GH5S? Both, Both, right? Yeah, yeah I had the GH5 there. on the Ronin, and the GH5S was all indoors because, okay. you know, in, in the cabin and, you know, all the stuff that we wanted to play with the light, and since you have such a capability of, you right. know, the ISO. Awesome. Okay. So, so end result summary is you do it again. Yeah, absolutely. I would totally do it again. Um, I I mean, we never used, well, I can't want to say never. I think I used it twice, the 50 millimeter. Okay. Because we didn't need to get that close sure. to stuff. And the director, his favorite phrase... We'll fix it in post. Yeah, and I'm just like, okay, why, why? why don't we do it in camera? <laughs> Please, can we just, you know, I don't know, I will push it. Everything had to have a shoulder. I love you, Brad, if you're watching this. You're, I, let's do it again. Um, but everything had to have a shoulder in it. I'm like, well, you know, okay. He's like, I want to have it. If I don't need it, we can push in and do this stuff. Cool, that's great. That's a style, You're shooting but, 4K. Yeah, everything's 4K, uh, 400 megabits. Okay, so okay. we filled up some terabytes for sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it was good. Um, but uh, you want you, you want your spot back? Cause sure, we can. Okay, we'll, sure. Let's we'll swap back. <laughs> yeah. And we're gonna we're gonna switch over to the Q and A. So um, yeah, thank you good. very much. Uh, yeah. Thanks for sharing your opinion and thoughts on Absolutely. these. It's great. I'm I'm sorry we don't get to see the footage, but I guess when the movie's we released, will we'll get we to will see that. eventually. Yeah, we'll show you some stuff. I'll, and let me clear. There's some stuff I would love to show you. Sure. So we'll figure that out. Okay. So. Cool. We'll do it. We'll do it. And uh, if you've got any questions, you're watching live. Get them onto the screen. We're gonna do the, go to the Q and A right now.